First, I'd like to talk about the Reebok Answer 4. What's so special about the Answer 4? It was my MVP shoe. It was my shoe that I wore in the finals. It was a special year. We went to the NBA Finals and I wore that shoe. That's what's special about it. Yeah, actually, the two series prior to the final against the Milwaukee and Toronto was also epic. <clears throat> so when you look at this shoe nowadays, do you still think about those other games you play in that 2001? Oh, definitely. Playoff one? definitely. Yeah. yeah. I, I think about the whole season. It wasn't just those those series. I, I think about the fact that we started off 10-0. and 0, You know what I mean? So it, it's a lot of memories when it comes to that sneaker. I, I remember um, giving uh, Reebok a hard time because um, I kept changing the colors throughout the year or the color schemes or, you know, um, where it was red and where it was black and where it was blue. And I switched it up so many times. I, I gave them a big headache with that shoe. Uh, in high school, I read a book called Only the Strong Survive, the Odyssey of Allen Iverson. And the name actually comes from one of your signature tattoo on your left shoulder. So that the sentence was also carved on the bottom of the shoe. Is that your idea to put the, the word on the that shoe? That book? No, the, only the strong survive, the tattoo on the bottom of the shoe. Was that your idea? Uh, I, I honestly um, don't remember. Maybe the people that created the shoe um, might have had it there and I said keep it or I might have told them to put it in a certain spot or whatever. We always, you know, went back and forth. You know what I mean? That was the luxury and the love that we had um, as far as you know, our, my relationship with Reebok is that we would be able to come up with different ideas and we would put things in, take things out, you know, to um, ultimately um, be satisfied as a company and as um, I was personally. But that book right there, I'm, I have nothing to do with that book. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that book, not one page. You know, only a couple of players can have their first signature going into their first year in the NBA. And you did that with the question one. So do you still remember the day when you debuted the question? Yeah, definitely. Was that the first game of your first NBA season? Yeah, definitely. Um, that was my first shoe. So I, I will always remember that. You know, that's why that shoe would always be my favorite. Because it was my first shoe as a kid growing up. You always dream about having your own shoe. So, you know, that would always be something that I would remember and cherish for the rest of my life. So what was it like to see someone else rocking on your own shoe for the first time? A great feeling, a beautiful feeling. I, you know, I honestly remember that day, but um, it was a great feeling. I, I, I'll never forget it, um, but it was special. Something that meant a lot to me. Did you actually put over to watch some kids? So you know the story already, man. <laughs> When you were playing in the league, you were an icon on and off the court and your impact to the game and the players goes on and on and on. But some people would say you changed the NBA, but you remain the same person we saw 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, how did you do that? Stand true to myself. Um, I, I'm not the same person. I've evolved and, and have been trying to evolve as a man, especially as a, um, as a father. Um, as a family man, I've, you know, tried to change a lot of things in my life that I, um, you know, I, I switched up a lot of things that I used to do. Um, and and not, you know, saying that a lot of those things were things that I'm not um, proud of. You know what I mean? I was young, you know, and I had to grow up in a lot of areas. You know, I was put in deep water early, you know what I mean? Um, and put in a, a unique situation to whereas I wasn't accustomed to. So I had to learn a lot on the fly. I had to make a whole lot of mistakes. I had to fall and I had to get back up. And I had to learn from my mistakes to become who I'm trying to be um, in life. And it's still a work in progress. You know what I mean? I'm still not at the point that I want to be in life um, as a man, as a father. I'm not there yet, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm working towards that. And I like to think, um, that I'm making big progress. Okay, the Super Bowl is next week. Are you excited about the Eagles competing in the Super Bowl this time? I'm excited about it uh, because um, I think the Eagle fans deserve it. They're loyal fans. I've been in Philadelphia for a long time now. And, um, you know, the, the love that they have for their team, I think they deserve it. You know, they're very supportive. 
Um, and I think that would be great for that city. I think the city deserves it. Okay, last question. Since our name is called Awesome, so what's the most awesome shoe other than the answer for and the question you would like to going back to retro in the future? If you were to pick one. Out of my shoes? Yes. Besides what? Four and what? Four and question. That's a good question. A very good question. Um, What's the most awesome one? I would say the answer eight. The answer eight? Yeah. Okay. What's the most awesome thing about being Alan Iverson? Um, I think the most awesome thing about being Alan Iverson is being comfortable in my own skin. Thank you. Thank you so much.